Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more on Elon Musk's projects. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Tesla gets into the home energy game. Tesla has unveiled a solar roof product that doesn't distract from the aesthetics of a home, as they look just like ordinary tiles. Each Tesla roof tile is made up of a solar cell, quartz glass, and a color louver film that makes it appear opaque from an angle. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the tiles have 98% of the efficiency of traditional solar panels. However, the tiles have the potential to go above normal efficiency if improved coatings can trap light inside to reduce loss of energy. Tesla sees the solar roofs working in tandem with its Powerwall battery unit to provide energy for homes and its electric vehicles. Tesla unveiled four types of solar tile during a launch event at the Desperate Housewives set at Universal Studios last Friday. The tiles will be available next year through SolarCity, a solar installation company chaired by Elon Musk, which he's trying to merge with Tesla. Musk didn't reveal any specific prices, but said the Tesla panels would cost less than the full cost of a roof, with the added benefit of being able to generate electricity. Tesla's new software protects kids and pets from overheating to death. Electric car giant Tesla has released a new software update that has changed the user interface, upgraded the autopilot system, and most noticeably added a new function called Cabin Overheat Protection. Tesla's Cabin Overheat Protection system is designed to protect children and pets inside cars from overheating deaths. When a Tesla car detects that the interior of the vehicle has reached up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit, the vents and air conditioning system will automatically turn on to lower the temperature inside the car. 
According to Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, the update will allow drivers to program the newly added function with maximum and minimum temperature settings. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Hyperloop One successfully conducts first propulsion test. Hyperloop One, formerly known as Hyperloop Technologies, has successfully conducted the first open air test of the super fast train's propulsion system in North Las Vegas, Nevada. The fully automated Hyperloop is propelled by linear induction motors. The compressor at the front of the pod sucks in air, pulling the pod forward. The compressed air is used in the air bearings underneath to levitate the pod. The fully enclosed tunnel allows the pod to travel as fast as 700 miles in an ultra-low pressure environment and is unaffected by weather conditions. Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation, another LA-based startup, are competing to realize Elon Musk's dream of super-fast transportation.